Welcome to Course 2, Ink and Color. We're going to cover the basics of ink, Pantone, CMYK, and RGB, what you see on paper versus a computer monitor, and how you can help your clients get the best possible print project. Let's get started. First off, let's talk a little bit about lithography. Offset lithography is a process of printing a lithograph or print on a hard flat surface. Originally, the printing surface was a flat piece of stone that was etched with acid to form a surface that would selectively transfer ink to the paper. The stone has now been replaced with a metal plate for modern printing presses. Lithography is everywhere. That postcard you received in the mail, a product catalog, your letterhead or business cards, all of it are examples of modern lithography. And there are also many different kinds of inks that are formulated and created for use in lithography or offset printing. Each must work with water properly, maintain proper evenness on press, and dry correctly in a timely manner once printed. This is what ensures a great looking printed piece and is part of the benefit to true lithography. Now, while most inks are oil based, PFL uses vegetable based inks such as soy, which are less harmful to the environment than their petroleum based counterparts, but still maintain vibrant, accurate colors. Soy and vegetable products are used in inks for their oils, which act as a vehicle for the ink pigments. PFL works primarily in the CMY color space, but we also print using Pantone inks as well. But first, let's take a little closer look at CMYK. The CMYK color space, or cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, is used to create the illusion of different colors and tones and is created by varying the size and angle of the dots. You can see here with this letter C, when viewed very closely, it is comprised of very small dots at different angles and not just a solid fill of ink. This is different than the RGB color space, which many people are familiar with, as it is what they see on their monitors. Let's go over what makes up the RGB and CMYK color spaces and let things to look out for. RGB, or red, green, and blue, is something we are all familiar with. Anyone who has ever turned on a computer or television has seen RGB colors. RGB is what is known as an additive color mode. It is called additive because the background of a screen is black. The individual LEDs then light up in varying intensity, adding light to black. The variations in intensity of each color determines what color the user sees. CMYK is a subtractive color mode because the paper where it's printed on is white and the ink subtracts from the brightness of the white paper. CMYK also uses secondary colors that are much lighter than those used in RGB because to reproduce the darker colors you would only need to add more ink. Keep in mind what you or your client sees on the monitor is not what you will see when printed. The color spaces are two different types, additive and subtractive, one on a computer monitor and one on physical paper, and managing those expectations is key when it comes to these two color spaces and their differences. When possible, working in the CMYK color space in the actual program will help minimize the differences. If there are any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. We are more than happy to help. Now let's talk briefly about Pantone. The Pantone solid colors have over 1,000 numbered colors, and it was originally devised to help printers and designers specify and control colors for print projects. It is also referred to as PMS for Pantone Matching System, or spot colors, and is used primarily in the graphics, print, and publishing industries. We have all seen Pantone colors before. These are used many times to maintain specific brand colors, such as the orange in Home Depot, the red in Coca-Cola, or the green in John Deere, to name just a few. Pantone ink can produce sharp, small colored text and is cost effective when using only one to two colors and no images. Additionally, certain colors that cannot be produced using CMYK can be achieved through the use of Pantone. This includes metallic inks, bright oranges, and some greens. So let's recap the main differences between CMYK and Pantone and provide several key tips that will help your clients' print projects be a success. Pantone colors are a set of colors that are standardized across all printers. Pantone colors are pre-mixed with published formulas and every Pantone color is referenced in a Pantone swatch book. Pantone or spot colors are precise, sharp, and consistent. They are often used in corporate identities and logo designs because Pantone colors are consistent no matter how many copies you make or which printer is printing your design. 
CMYK colors are great for printing catalogs, brochures, and anything else with a lot of images. There are thousands of different possible CMYK color combinations that makes printing images with CMYK colors a breeze. Also, because CMYK only involves four inks, printing with CMYK colors tends to be more cost effective than with Pantone colors. So in closing, it is important to be aware of the basic differences between ink and color spaces and know that whether CMYK or Pantone or helping your client understand the differences between RGB and CMYK, that assistance will guide them to a better printed piece. That concludes our course in ink and color.